Hi, welcome back. Today I want to do a tutorial creating this preset, film kind of style preset in Art Raw Editor. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to select a different image. So I'm just going to find a image that I want to go through here. Let's see. I want to select something just a bit different. Nope, that's a JPEG file. Okay, so we're going to create this film preset off of this image here. Go in, this is shot with my Nikon Z62 with the 85mm 1.8. I believe I had it at 1.8, yep. So, first thing I want to do... So I want to make sure this is set to color propagation. And I want to go down to my tone curves here. And I want to set this to film like just so I can get the color to pop a little bit more. And I'm actually going to make a new tone curve. Now it made a different tone curve that I wasn't using. But I'm going to go here, bring this one up, and then bring this one down to about there. So that's kind of my base for this. And this tone curve looks okay. But now I got to go over. We're going to go into the color tab. We're going to go into the RGB curves. I'm actually going to select the blue one. Select standard. And we're going to bring this down just slightly. Bring this up slightly. And this here, as you can see, it's kind of remembering my previous steps, but if you just match somewhat similar to these settings for your image, and this is brought down here, that's it for that. Um, now the other thing I actually am doing is in the channel mixer, I'm just going to turn this on. I'm going to set this to primaries selection and I'm going to minus three this one for the hue on the red. But then I'm going to boost it by 10. And then the green, I'm actually going to bring that up to 43. But then I'm going to drop it by minus 36. And then the blue primary, I want to bring that, I want to bring it down to minus 41. And then the saturation correction, I'm going to bring that to minus 8. Now you can fiddle with these to meet your needs in your edit for your style. But this is just something I'm using. Saturation, I'm going to actually enter in 5 and see how that looks. And Vibrance, bring that up to 40. Because I did bring down a ton of uh, colors in the other part of it. Now, I still need to adjust my white balance. But I'm going to do that later. 
I do need to go to my tone equalizer. And I want to bring my blacks. Probably, I mean, my preset is usually at nine for that. So we're going to test it. She's got very, very dark black hair. So it may not work. I'm going to bring the highlights down to minus 31. And my whites to minus probably 22. We're going to leave the rest of this alone here. Now, I am going to bump the exposure some. Just to see, I'm going to bring up this here so I can see if I'm overexposing her skin. You want to keep the skin in this gray area. So I'll shut that off. Zoom in. So far, we're good. Now I'm going to fix my white balance. So I'm actually going to bring it down to cool the image off some. And then bring it up until the skin tones are at a level that I like. Now this is slightly exaggerating the colors, obviously. This is kind of just based off of a preset that I was working on in Capture One Pro. But that looks pretty good. The only other thing I was doing on here, in Capture One I would use haze removal. Because haze removal currently in Art and Darktable and any other open source write editor I've used. Uh, doesn't allow me to isolate colors so I can't get a hundred percent of the effect on this image to where the editing would actually be removed from the skin tone and only affect everything else currently I cannot do that in this program however Film grain, we can go ahead and add. I like to bring the uh, coarseness. Let's uh, drop the strength down a lot. And then bump it up a little. Let's see. And this is mainly just simulating uh, film grain. So you want to shoot at low ISOs. 18 looks good. Might bring the coarseness up a little bit. But there's that. And obviously you can save this out as a profile. But obviously, you know, art currently, I don't like how it uh saves presets but if i go here to side to side go to photo loaded lock that then go to the edit you can actually see the edit on both as you can see, good color, everything. This is just uh, kind of my style I've been doing lately. You know, it's kind of a little exaggerated, but uh, I do like the way it looks. Just kind of experimenting with how far I can push the open source software. You know, to see just how far I can push the open source software to produce results that I like. Because I have been shooting some 35 millimeter film. The film 
producers will look like this just slightly from overexposing the film negative by about a half a stop to one stop you end up with color like this but let me know uh what do you think of this uh edit of this uh image here uh like subscribe comment below and i will see you in the next video thank you bye